Norwich City are an absolute mess at the moment. They are the definition of a yo-yo club. And trust me, I am well equipped to determine a yo-yo club considering I support Fulham. We are a yo-yo club as well. I can't remember the last time we played Norwich in the Premier League or in any league because they come up, we go down. We go up, they go down. But it is time to end that tradition following the just pathetic 7-0 demolition at the hands of Chelsea it is time to take over the Canaries. We are headed to Caro Road as today we rebuild Norwich City. The objective of this series is to take a team to Champions League glory. All games barring the Champions League final will be simulated. The jump in feature cannot be used during simulations. And a warning, don't get butt hurt if I sell your favorite player. So here is our starting 11, the default starting 11 that FIFA has given us to start off season number one. Going to make some big changes to this side. Don't think I'll be playing a five at the back formation, honestly, but there is a lot to get done here in season number one if we want to survive the relegation battle. It's time to work our Mr. Rebuild magic. And we're going to start off here with a very controversial transfer. Timu Puki, one of the names that you think of first when you think of Norwich City has been sold to Leeds United. Whilst Grant Hanley is headed to Nice, off to the French League for 4.5 mil. And our first addition to the side is in the defense. Rob Holding of all, I can't remember the last time I signed Rob Holding in a rebuild, but Rob Holding is joining us from Arsenal. The clean out continues. Kenny McLean is out of the club and off to Besiktas. Whilst I am gonna send the American wonder kid himself, Josh Sargent on a season long loan move to Leon. It doesn't make sense to me because Leon, I would say, are a bigger club than Norwich, but as long as he gets growth, I don't care how it happens. Going to get one of the biggest villains in the Premier League. It is going to be Malpay joining us here from Brighton and Hove Albion. He knows how to ruffle the feathers of the opposition, but most notably, he knows how to find the back of the net. And I'm hopeful he can do that for us this season and many seasons moving forward as we bring the Frenchman across for 16.5 mil. Whilst Lucas Rupp is out of the club, off to Lorient. I'm just absolutely stripping this side here. Sam Byron, the latest player out of the club. And Christoph Zimmermann, the most German name going. He's off to Feyenoord for one and a half mil. So there we go. Just the two additions to the side in holding and Malpe. I've kind of held a little bit of cash back so that we can do some work in January given the position that we might find ourselves in. But 20 million pounds of not deadwood talent, but just talent that had to go out of the club. And here is a little look at the starting 11 as well at the moment. I've changed this to a 4-4-1-1 formation. Get Rashika in there. Get Malpe in there. Get the labs absolutely firing. This is a good start. This is what we were after to kick off the first half of the season. We are here on the 1st of January, 13th in the Premier League. We're not safe at the moment. We're only eight points out of the relegation zone, but I know for a fact that I'm much happier being in 13th than I am being West Ham right now. But I mean, that's, that's a Captain Obvious statement right there, Captain Obvious. But we're gonna pull the trigger here and sign Billy Gilmore on a permanent transfer from Chelsea for next season. He's now an official Norwich City player. Sorry, Chelsea. And immediately after bringing him in permanently to the club, we're going to send him out on loan to Lazio. Same deal as I have with that Leon transfer earlier. I would think Lazio is a bigger club than we are, but like I said, growth is growth. The Canaries have broken the pattern. If you want results, if you want to stay up, you're higher, Mr. Rebuild. 13th in the Prem. Meanwhile, at the other end of the spectrum, the hottest club in English football at the moment have done it in this simulation. Liverpool winning the Premier League. Tottenham break the trophy drought and have won the FA Cup. We had the opportunity to make Conference League football a possibility for next season, but unfortunately, we have been absolutely spanked in the Carabao Cup final 4-1 to Norwich, or 4-1 to Everton, I should say. PSG take down Wolfsburg to win the Champions League, righty-o. Whilst it is Atletico Madrid winning an all-Spanish Europa League final. Neil, 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 Neil Malpe, 19 goals, four assists. That is a great way to start life here at Carrow Road, going up to a 79 overall. I don't know if he's somebody I see playing with us for the entire rebuild. Hopefully he gets the mad growth and he can, but this is definitely a good start. So season one of this Norwich City rebuild has been completed. We have succeeded in our season one goal of stabilizing the ship here at Carrow Road. Now let's build upon it. All right, gonna look to make another addition to the defense here. Ozan Kabak was only in on a loan last season, so we needed to fill the void of the Turkish defender. Leonardo Balerdi or Bialerdi is gonna be the man 
that I use to fill that void at the moment, 18 million pounds. It makes me look like a mug because I've paid double his valuation, but his valuation was like 13 mil. How does it go down 4 million pounds just from joining us? Adam Ida has got great potential in FIFA. It feels like he has forever, but we're going to send the Irishman off on a season-long loan move to the Bundesliga. One of our starting midfielders as well out of the club, Pierre Le Malou, is out off to VFL de Bochum for 7.5 mil. Daniel Sinani, he was out of the club on loan last season, but now we're just going to cut ties with the midfielder. I don't even know what country that is from. That's not the... Ne that's not... I feel like I asked his last time I did an Norwich video, but... We are sending him to Atletico PR. Ben Gibson, he had an absolute nightmare performance against Chelsea on the weekend, and now he's out of the club, off to Osasuna. Whilst the Cuban midfielder, Ernel Hernandez, is off to Besiktas for 1.65 mil. It is time for an upgrade in between the sticks. Tim Krul, whilst he is an absolute Premier League legend, is not up to scratch for this squad at the moment. We need some new, fresh blood into the squad, so we are gonna sign Aaron Ramsdale from Arsenal for 19.8 mil. Ramsdale in, Sorensen out, Jacob Sorensen off to Strasbourg, and the I I've sold so many players over the past two years, Jordan Hugel the later. So there we go, another busy transfer window. I'm pretty sure I only signed two players in the opening window of last season as well, so we're kind of keeping on record, keeping on brand here at the Mr. Ebuilds version of Norwich City, Boyerdi and Ramsdale into the club and just a whole array of players gone. This is what the starting 11 is now looking like for season number two in the Premier League. Hoping we don't have second season syndrome, but time will tell. 11th in the Premier League here on the 1st of January. Good to see Everton in the relegation battle. That's just karma for beating us in the Carabao Cup last year, but we are 11th in the Prem right now, 12 points out of safety or from safety or in safety. We're doing well, that's what I'm trying to say. We're doing so well that Burnley want us, but you're going to have to deal with Sean Dyche. Since we have made the signing of Aaron Ramsdale, Tim Krul no longer necessary to stay at the club, so we're going to send him to RC Lens. And Bali Mumba is headed to Alaves on a season-long loan. Also going to part ways with the Greek left-back here, Dimitri Giannoulis, or Giannoulis. He is headed to Levante, really cleaning out the stock in this January window. And we are going to make an upgraded signing here at the left-back position, a younger model, the Frenchman, Adrien Truffert, is going to join us from SC Augsburg for 19.4 million pounds. Second season syndrome, it is missed the Canaries. We finished dead middle in the Premier League table, which at this point in the rebuild, I am more than happy to settle for that. 10th in the Premier League here with Norwich. We are happy campers. Start building the Mr. Rebuild statue outside of Carrier Road, lads. At the other end of the spectrum, it is Manchester City winning the Premier League, whilst Everton have avoided the relegation zone, but... Fulham got relegated. Yo-Yo Club. Same with West Brom. Yo-Yo Club. We lose another cup final. Losing by three goals in the FA Cup final to City. Man City's done the domestic treble. They win the Carabao Cup. The Champions League, though, is headed to Germany as Bayern Munich win. And Chelsea have taken down Barcelona to win the Europa League. I don't think I showed the Conference League last year. But regardless, it is Atalanta taking down Hajduk Split, the Croatian side. 3-2 in the Conference League final. We've just got to focus on ourselves, lads. So far, we are getting the job done. Slowly but surely climbing up the Premier League standings. Surely we've got to make a push for like top seven, top six next year. That's, that's the ambitious goal. Season three is going to begin with a player departure. Plesheta, again, apologies if I mispronunciate your name. Not too familiar with my Polish pronunciations, but... The Polish midfielder is headed to Serie A. Meanwhile, it is another bit of left midfield activity. Josh Martin staying at the club, but departing for the season. Another loan here as the Irish defender, Andrew Omabamidili. Yeah, nah, headed to Ajax. Clean out season continues. Kieran Dow off to Crystal Palace on a permanent transfer. And Gasan Adame is headed to Argentinos Juniors on a permanent deal. Our first signing as Norwich City gaffer has officially left the club. Rob Holding, I never intended for him to be a end game defender, but it is time for us to depart ways with him. Rob Holding headed to Leverkusen for 19 mil. I'm not sure, lads. I could accept Igor Zubielda or Ibrahim Kanate. Which one do I go for? 81, 82. I think I'm going to go for Kanate. Yeah, that's, it's a similar price. Younger, 81 overall. We're going to sign Ibrahima Kanate. Maybe in the future, Igor. So there it is. Our first look at Ibrahima Kanate. He's been absolutely lighting it up for Liverpool lately. Absolutely killed it in that Manchester United game. But 
We've signed the Frenchman from Liverpool for 44 mil. Just the one signing to the starting 11 here to kick off season number three, though, clearing out players. The sides are the point. I'll show you in a second, but the sides are the point where just got to cherry pick positions, if that makes sense. Zolus is absolutely killing it, though, the Greek midfielder. The rest of the side definitely having a good performance, but Zolus, the standout player. I meant to say a star player. Star, standout player. What I'm trying to say is he's an absolute weapon. Oh my god. Top six, I thought, was a bit ambitious this year. We are leading the Premier League on the 1st of January. Are you kidding me? 43 points. It's an extremely tight title race at the moment. But to be on top of the pack is definitely a good start. Going to send Adam Ida out on another loan move, however, this time to Strasbourg. Our centre-back duos have just absolutely gone. We got rid of Holding earlier in the season. Now Leonardo Bierdi is gone on a permanent deal to Barcelona. And that is so we could sign the man that we had to reject in the summer transfer window, Igor Zubeldia, the Spanish centre-half, joining us here for £39 million from Tottenham. Also going to make our first regen free agent signing of the regen. Nathan Higgins, an English midfielder, joining us on a free. And that is a rather busy January transfer window in the books. We couldn't get Norwich our first Premier League title, but we have definitely exceeded all of our expectations as we... will be playing Champions League football in season number four. I did not expect that this year, but I am not complaining. At the other end of the table, however, Leeds United, Burnley, and Watford have been relegated. I'm very glad I didn't take that Burnley job. Liverpool take down the richest club in the world to win the FA Cup. And we have won the Carabao Cup, our first piece of silverware here as Norwich City gaffer. Lost it two years ago, but we get our revenge, taking down West Brom 3-1 in the final. Juventus have won the Champions League. I'm genuinely interested to see how we go in the Champions League next year. Villarreal have won the Europa League. Liverpool take down Lazio to win the Conference League. Neil Malpe continues to impress. I'm excited to see what he can do in the Champions League next season. 26 goals, 3 assists. Good season as well for Cantwell, getting 7 assists. Zola's getting eight. There's Norman as well, 14. The lads are on fire. So season number three exceeding every expectation I had. I'm very happy with that. Champions League football coming to Carry Road a lot earlier than expected. I feel like everybody I've signed in this first season just is not lasting at the club. Aaron Ramsdale, the latest casualty of that as the English keeper headed to Roma. Our new marquee man has joined the club here. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm having a strong. Does anybody else smell burning toast? But what I was trying to say is welcome to the new marquee man, Diogo Jota, joining us from Liverpool for 69.1 million pounds. Another season, another loan move here for Andrew. Daniel Barden headed down to Bolton Wanderers for 500,000 pounds. And we have found our Aaron Ramsdale upgrade. It's only a a slight upgrade, but it is one nonetheless. Melier, the French goalkeeper, formerly of Leeds United, in this day it has gone to RB Leipzig. We've signed him for 34 mil. So there we go, lads. Really throwing around the cash that we were given getting into the Champions League this season. I want to give ourselves the best chance possible to get this result, to get this Champions League title. That is the goal of the rebuild, of course, to see how fast we can win a Champions League title. Let's see if season four is going to be that year. Look at this team now, though. Norman has been absolutely killing it. This, I mean, time's not really on his side, but Norman's been on fire. The team is coming together quite nicely. Jota, Rashika, Zolas, our midfield is looking saucy. But in our first Champions League expedition, I'm pretty happy with the group we're being drawn with. Juventus, Dinamo Kiev, Rapid Vienna. That is surely a group we can get out of and into the knockout rounds. I'm not going to lie. This is almost exactly how I expected the group to go. Maybe not as many draws. I mean, we only got one win, which isn't a great omen. Four draws, seven points. We're through to the knockout rounds nonetheless. But we are going to really get a good test to see where we are at. As we've been drawn up against bloody Barcelona in the round of 16. Lord have mercy. The goal has to be Champions League qualification every single year from here on in. So far, we are failing that objective. Four points behind Southampton who sit in the Champions League spot. We are in sixth, but let's stay calm. There's still 19 more games to go. We are going to look to shake things up here though we're gonna really need to put together an insane side if we're any chance of getting past Barcelona and completing the rebuild in season four Todd Cantwell has been put to the bench given the signing of Diogo Jota so we have sold him here to Real Madrid for 53 mil and I'm also gonna make a very 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 controversial move the club captain Matthias Norman 
the Sweden, no, that's not Swedish, that's Norwegian. What am I talking about? Norman, the Norwegian midfielder, headed to Atletico Madrid for 60 mil. And our new marquee man in the midfield, Yuri Tielemans, is going to join us here from Real Madrid. 73.9 million pounds. That is an absolute monster of a signing. I am so excited to have him. Also going to make a short-term upgrade here to the midfield. Billy Gilmore still sitting at that 80 marker. I want to get somebody a little bit higher in the midfield for this Champions League run. So we have signed Yangel Herrera, 84 rated from Lazio. All right, lads, here we go. Champions League knockout round time. We are here at Caro Road trying to get ourselves a result in the first leg. We're going to simulate it here. The scoreline is a 3-1 loss. Even adding all this firepower to the side might not be enough. Barcelona are just different gravy in FIFA. Lads, we're going to have to pull off a minor miracle if we are any chance of getting ourselves through to the quarterfinals. Need Barcelona to absolutely implode, and we need our offense to explode. Come on, lads. Champions League round of 16, second leg against Barcelona is a one-all draw. It's a respectable one-all draw, but it is not enough. And our Champions League campaign comes to an end here in Season 4 in the last 16. Look how insane that top four race is. We finished fourth, thank the Lord, on 68 points. Arsenal on 68 points. Liverpool on 68 points. Man City on 68 points. We are into the Champions League on goal differential. Oh my God. It's actually happened. Everton have been relegated. Everton, Fulham again. Stop yo-yoing for God's sake. Everton, Fulham and Bournemouth have all been relegated. Arsenal have won the FA Cup. We have been unable to go back to back in the Carabao Cup. That honor goes to Chelsea. Manchester City have won the Champions League. Is that going to affect us qualifying for the Champions League next year? Because they came seventh in the Prem. Meanwhile, Inter Milan have also saved us there as they beat Leicester City in the Europa League final. And man, the English team's killing it. Manchester United win the Conference League. I wanted to give him at least one season in the Champions League, but it is now time to pull the cord. We want to go all out in this fifth season. We need to put together an all-star team. Neil Malpe off to AS Monaco for 60 mil. And we are going to bring ourselves in a new striker, Yusuf Nezri, the Moroccan striker. I can't remember the last time I honestly used this guy in career mode in general, let alone in a rebuild. But we're going to sign him here from Leicester City for 72 mil. I did say that I was only bringing him in on a short-term basis, and I have stuck to my word. Yangel, we've made a good pro, pro profit, I should say. A quality profit there. 60 million pounds for half a year. I am not complaining. <laughs> and he has been upgraded in the midfield. Renato bloody Sanchez. Welcome to Norwich City. I'm going to go bold. I'm going to go bold. Renato Sanch. Renato Sanch. How's he say it? And I'm going to change up the goalkeeper position as well. I was tempted to leave Melier on the bench and just sell Angus Gunn or something. But we have decided to sell him to Celta Vigo for 47 mil. It is almost impossible to deny that we have made an extraordinary upgrade here to the goalkeeper position. Gianluigi Donnarumma is going to join us here from PSG. 114.4 million pounds. Only had 12 months remaining on his contract. So the Italian shot stopper is going to join us here. 93 rated. We've gone up 10 overall in between the sticks. Tell me that doesn't make us serious contenders. Busy, busy, busy boys here in the transfer window to kick off season number five. Three massive additions to the side, the starting 11. I am so excited. Look at this team. There is definitely a bit of work for us to do. True Fair, Kanate, even Aaron and Zubielda. Everyone's like 84, 85. Needs to pick it up. But our attack, our attack is absolutely monstrous. Zola's up to an 88, and Nezri up to an 86. This is incredible. This is a tough Champions League group. A lot tougher than we had last year. A lot more, like, overall tough. I mean, Dortmund, Marseille, Salzburg. There's no giants of world football here. You'd say Dortmund are the toughest opponent. This is a group we should be getting out of, but there is a lot more room for trapdoor games. Top of the group, not a single loss. That is so much nicer to see compared to last season. Let's go back in the Champions League round of 16. Please, FIFA gods, I'm looking at you. Do not give me Barcelona again. It is going to be Benfica in the round of 16. A famous, famous club. But thankfully, it is not Barcelona. It is not Real Madrid. It is not one of the juggernauts of world football. This is a game 
that on paper surely we're expected to win. Good to see us occupying a top four spot here on the 1st of January as well. Currently third in the Prem. Let's just stay there, if not higher. Don't have a crazy amount of money to spend after our insane summer transfer window, but... We are going to sign a backup right midfielder. Somerville going to join us here for 12.5 million pounds from Leeds. Benfica, we are coming for you. This is where we fell off last season. Barcelona in the round of 16 last year. Let's make amends for that poor performance. Let's get ourselves a strong first leg. We're going to simulate it here against Benfica. And the scoreline is a 3-1 win. Thank you for coming, Benfica. That is a massive result from the first leg. Need to back it up here, though, in leg number two. Do not choke this one. Please, Norwich. We're at Carrow Road. Let's not choke. We're a better side than last year. Surely we don't. We're going to simulate it, not stuffing around. And we do not choke. We don't win the game, but we win on aggregate. 4-2, lovely. That's a big hurdle overcome. We have quarterfinals now, let's go. Oh dear, oh dear. Quarterfinals have just gone to the next level. We've got Manchester City in the quarterfinals of the Champions League. We know how gun they are on FIFA. This is gonna be fun. And by saying this is gonna be fun, I mean this is about to be absolute torture. This is gonna be nerves galore. We could win this first leg 12 nil and I still wouldn't feel comfortable. We're gonna get into it though at Caro Road. Trying to get ourselves an advantage ahead of the second leg at the Eddie Hadley. Quick sim. The game against the Citizens. And it is a 1-0 win. I am not comfortable. But that is a good... That's a start. That is a start. 1-0 up. Rashika in the 82nd minute. Let's bring it home. Second leg, ladies and gentlemen, at the Eddie Had Stadium. Again, like I said, I just, I'm just worried about what Manchester City are capable of doing here. I'm just going to... All right, Jared. Deep breath. Second leg, simulating. Oh my God! Oh my God! 3-0! Yo! Maybe we are actually insane. Oh my God, Renato Sanchez gets a red card though, which I've only just noticed. That is not ideal. He's gonna be out for whoever we verse in the semi-final, but that is an absolute demolition job there of Man City. Well, 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 if it isn't our old nemesis, Barca bloody Lona, the Champions League semi-final, is a replay of last year's round of 16 as Norwich City are versing Barcelona. So here we go, lads, away at the Camp Nou. Last year in the first leg, we really set ourselves up for failure with a poor performance. Let's get a strong start here. Another 3-0 win on the road would be nice like we had against Man City. We are simulating, though, and it is a one-all draw. This game is evenly poised. We have a massive massive second leg ahead of us now i'm stepping up here ladies and gentlemen with a steely resolve in the back of my mind need to be firm need to be calm need to be composed because we have a do or die matchup here we win we go through to the champions league final we lose it is our season over come on lads in front of our home fans the score line we're headed to the champions league final 2-1 come on Ansu Fati missing a penalty in the 79th minute. We are through to the Champions League final to verse either Inter Milan or Bayern Munich. Let's go. And in the Champions League final here in season number five, ladies and gentlemen, it is going to be Norwich City, your Canaries versus Inter Milan. Taking a look around the grounds, however, Roma have won the Europa League. Italy on top as Bologna win the Conference League. Champione! Champione! Ole, ole, ole! Come on, lads! The Canaries, champions of England. Meanwhile, the other end of the spectrum, Southampton, Watford, and Burnley all relegated. Liverpool win the FA Cup, and Liverpool have also won the Carabao Cup. But here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We are headed to the promised land. The Champions League final is ahead of us here. I am so excited. This team we've put together is absolutely wild. The growth in the second half of the season as well has been really nice. I mean, like I said at the start of the season, there was a little bit of conjecture around certain players' positions in the squad and whether they were going to cost us. These players have grown quite nicely this year. And this is a massive opportunity for us to complete the rebuild here in Season 5. Let's crack on. It is Norwich City. Jack, mate, I hope you're watching. Norwich City versus Inter Milan. Let's go.
Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It is the promised land. Let's take down Inter Milan, who I must say have some of the coolest kits in FIFA 22, and win this Champions League final. Inter Milan really holding on to possession well to start off this game. Just don't let them get any like long shots off. They go on there to Patson Daka. Daka playing that one there to Lamar. They go back! Oh my god, I thought they put that one top corner. That is heart attack material. That one down the line. Nice. Come on, Zolis. Can't get in front of Lamar. Let's see if there's some support in the midfield. Aaron's is going to go there. Rashika, I see you, Renato Sanchez. Going to go back there. Going to go to Jota. Jota going back. This is beautiful footy. This is beautiful footy. What a goal. Great link up play. And Diego Jota is going to give us the lead here in the Champions League final. Come on, fellas. Just defend. We know they left the two long shots this year. Let's not let them get anything off. Leon Bailey just killing us for pace there. Need to defend using True Fair. Just defend. Don't let them get a good cross in. Don't let them get... What is that? That is pathetic. Who the hell was defending that for us? Do you know how to jump? Donnarumma left in no man's land. That sucks. I just want a quick response, fellas, honestly. And Nezri, I see you making the run there. Let's just go with the Nezri. Let's go. That's a good move. That's a great ball. Come on, Rashika. Save the post. Why is that a touch? He scores it anyways. He scores it anyways. Renato Sanchez. I thought we bottled that one there with a touch. Renato Sanchez makes it 2-1. Do not let them equalize. This game is honestly being chaotic. Do not let them equalize again. Good interception. Clear it. That's a poor pass. It's come back to Patson Daka. Nico Barea going there. Martinez hits a crossbar. Oh, my God. Oh, and I see you there. This is a lot of space. I'm going to go back here. I see you. Renato Sanchez. Screw it. Let's go for it. Renato Sanchez. Beats him. At what the f What was that goalkeeping? What was that goalkeeping? We've scored to make it 3-1. What was that goalkeeping there at the near post? I need to show you guys the sliders right now to show that I'm not cheating or anything. I get so paranoid about that. Look, the shot error is like everything's at 50. I'm not cheating in these slides. That was just... The I swear EA have killed goalkeepers since this last patch. Just keep defending. Just keep cutting off their passing lanes. Turo Martinez. Playing that one there to Marcos Antonio. Goes for the long shot. That one was dipping quick. Good ball down the side there. Would be nice to get ourselves... A, it's been a little bit stale lately. Let's just get ourselves another goal. We're going to go there. Out to Zolas. Come on, play that one back post. Oh, why are we delaying it? Almost got the tap in as well. But if we hit that first time, we might have got a tap in at the back post. On to Lemons, nice. We've got a lot of numbers pushing forward here. I see you, Renato Sanchez. Renato Sanchez! Renato Sanchez has a hat trick! That is surely the Champions League title coming to Norwich City. Some of the passing play in this final has been sublime. Come on, lads. Let's just defend this free kick and then the title's going to be ours. I wouldn't mind if they put this one top corner. That would be insane. Well, I've jumped. Prematurely there, they're going to lay it off. They're going to have the long shot. What a save from Donnarumma. Stop them from getting the follow-up. Breyers has absolutely done us there. They put that one. It's deflected. It's come back and he's offside. Unlucky champ. There we go, lads. Champions of Europe with Nottage, Nottage, Norwich City. Lads, if you enjoyed today's rebuild with the Canaries, make sure you leave a like on the video. That was an absolutely insane. Oh, Sanchez didn't get the hat trick. They called the second one an own goal. Right. That hurts a little bit, but we won the Champions League nonetheless. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here. Enjoy the title celebrations. It has been Jared HD here. I'm out.